The Olympic torch has finished its final full day on the road, taking in princes, prime ministers and Patsy. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry were on hand to see the relay go past Buckingham Palace. Wai Ming Lee handed over the flame to John Hulse under the watchful gaze of the royals. It's been an honour, actually. It's been a great day. Um, they were a great couple as well, and Prince Harry's a fantastic individual. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing it again. Earlier in the day, Jennifer Saunders and Joanna Lumley, a.k.a. Absolutely Fabulous's Eddie and Patsy, ran through Sloan Square. Little Britain comedian and charity fundraiser David Walliams carried the flame at around 8.30am outside Islington Town Hall and it made its way towards St Paul's Cathedral. Prime Minister David Cameron and his wife Samantha welcomed the relay to Downing Street. They saw war hero Kate Nesbitt hand over the flame to pensioner Florence Rowe. The 24-year-old is the first woman in the Royal Navy to be awarded the Military Cross. She received the honour for treating casualties under enemy fire in Afghanistan in 2009. I just think Kate's story is incredibly inspiring. Uh, someone who showed huge bravery and heroism in Afghanistan, saved the life uh, of, a, of, a, of a fellow uh, comrade. And I think it's a great story, a great role model for others. Kate probably hates me saying that, but I think we should be really proud uh, to have someone like that fighting and working on our behalf. So I thought it was, uh, that's why I asked Kate to do it. The Olympic cauldron was lit in front of 60,000 people in Hyde Park this evening. The flame will begin its final journey in Bushy Park on Friday morning as it heads for the Olympic Stadium.